Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders in the digital infrastructure space. And we are coming at you live. That's right, Travis. We are live, live streaming right now um, from Data Cloud USA in the Lone Star State of Austin. Texas. And uh, speaking of thought leaders, I got one of those guys right next to me right now. Travis Talcott is the technical sales lead for the Americas at EchoSense. Travis, welcome to JSA TV. Yeah, thank you, Dean. Really excited to be here. Travis, you and I have had a uh, half dozen discussions already Absolutely. over the last 48 hours. Uh, we're going to continue that discussion right now. But before we do, Huge congratulations to EchoSense on Data Cloud's uh, uh, Sustainable Data uh, Data Center Project of the Year. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. It's exciting for sure. Yeah, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what the, pro the project and, you know, th what's going on at EchoSense? Yeah, absolutely. So um, that project itself was uh, very exciting. You know, we were able to help, you know, the customer save a large percentage of their cooling energy, mm -hmm. reduce their carbon emissions. So um, we were really able to do that just based off of our approach. Mm -hmm. So we are able to collect really granular levels of data, mm -hmm. and then we apply advanced analytics against those. And we have a tool called our, our cooling advisor, which is an AI-driven tool that allows the operators to continuously optimize their environment. Mm -hmm. Since as we know, data centers are changing, they're always dynamic. Yeah. You know, they're never stagnant. So. With that in mind, we're able to continuously optimize, which allows our customers to continuously reduce the amount of cooling that they need. Mm -hmm. So even as power demands increase, you know, the IT load increases within their facilities, we're able to keep them at a lower threshold and kind mm -hmm. of dialed in so that they're always, you know, as efficient as possible. Travis, you mentioned something uh, just now and, and earlier, maybe yesterday afternoon, about data. And uh, if you don't have the data, you can't make decisions exactly. about the data. So why don't I tell our viewers a little bit about like what the EchoSense approach to uh, understanding what the data is and how you're making uh, educated decisions about that data. Yeah, no, that's great. So uh, you can't manage what you don't measure. Yeah. Um, so really what we believe in is collecting granular levels of data, not only from the power systems, more of the traditional things that people will think about when mm -hmm. collecting data in a facility, but also from, you know, rack level thermals. Um, what that allows us to do then is it allows us to do more advanced analytics. It allows us to get a really clear picture of what's going on inside a facility because as you know, you can't see temperatures. Yeah. So when you're walking around a data center environment, you're largely blind to what's really going on. Yeah. Um, so what we're able to do then is we're able to light all those things up, turn everything on so you can see exactly what's going on at a very granular level down to the rack level. Um, that allows us then to you know utilize the power of machine learning mm -hmm. um, to mm -hmm. go ahead and crunch the numbers for us and give us recommendations on how we can improve. Um, so that's really important to us, especially as we start increasing densities, as the industry starts expanding and growing. We're going to see more and more racks that are 30, 40, 50 kilowatts as mm -hmm. a standard. And so what that's going to make us do is really have a better idea of exactly how we're handling that inside mm -hmm. of the white space. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where we really come into play because we're able to help operators really see that and gain complete operational visibility um, through our tool. You know, uh listening to you talk, the first thing I'm thinking is like, if I'm a, a potential EchoSense customer, I'm immediately hearing you say the things that I will need to uh, prove uh, on my ESG initiatives. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's key because, you know, ESG is coming. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of companies that are making um, some good ESG pledges and it's really becoming important for our data center industry. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're able to do when we have the data is we're able to actually prove that we're doing what we're saying, what we say we're going to do. Yeah, no, that's that's good stuff. Okay, so I'm um, going completely off script now. Um, yeah, I knew you, I knew you'd love that. So one of the one of the things that got me uh, initially uh, engaged with with speaking to you yesterday was that clearly you're one of the younger faces in the crowd, and that yes. that is no no offense to anyone else in this crowd right now, but you, you're a you're a younger guy. Uh, you're a younger guy, and you are in a what has traditionally been kind of a, a you know a, a, an older man's game. Sure, Let's sure, just sure. say that, and I, I would include myself in that too. Um, but tell me, like as as a younger guy in this space, how important is it for you, Travis, to see other younger people kind of joining joining the joining the, the digital infrastructure party? 
Oh, it, it's massive, right? So um, we need a little bit more youth in the data center industry, I believe, because at the end of the day, you know, it's really my generation and the next generations that are going to have to yes. deal with, you know, the advances in artificial intelligence and what that's really going to cause as far as power requirement standpoint, land standpoint, environmental standpoint. Yeah. And so when we're bringing more youth into the data center, we're getting a fresher perspective on the generation that's going to have to deal with it. Um, that being said as well, you know, I think more youth in the data center brings a big um, a, ability to innovate a little bit more. Yeah. Having some fresh thinkers, yeah. some fresh thought leaders. Dreamers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, so that's something I'm very passionate about, as you said. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I'm one of the younger uh, people in this crowd. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I really enjoy it. The data center industry itself is always growing. It's mm -hmm. such a great industry to be in. So I'm yeah. really excited to see what happens in the future. You are a fantastic ambassador for EchoSense and for others your age who might be considering uh, the digital infrastructure industry. So thank you very much. Well, I appreciate that. Thing. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. Stay connected, and we'll see you soon.